guys make sure to stay tuned and one common mistake if you make that mistake guys we will talk about what it is it can actually cost you thousands of dollars in repairs stay with us we'll explain what it is hey guys welcome back to auto repair guys thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a bmw 5 series generation f10 f11 from year 2010 to year 2017 if you guys need to find which fuses control the auxiliary heater also known as auxiliary heating stay with us we'll explain where you can find them where you can buy cheap parts tools fuses relays at a good price quick shipping that way do not waste money and time why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience Make sure to stay until the end. Before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us, guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos, guys. We take them completely apart. We show you how to do almost anything: transmissions, engines, bodywork, coats, fuses. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. That way, we can keep making these free videos. Now, guys, we took pictures of every fuse box in that BMW. Okay, uh, every fuse box, so we can clearly guys show you where everything is located so you can clearly see the fuses because otherwise they're hidden in places where practically we cannot get the camera so we're going to show you one by one okay we have video about every single fuse every single relay so let's say you're in the middle of nowhere you need to guys okay find where the fuel pump fuse is located all you have to do watch our video it will take you probably guys less than two minutes replace that fuse and you're back on the road otherwise you'll be stuck in the middle of nowhere guys we make those videos for your convenience now uh, we'll make video for every single fuse and every single relay guys and we have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channel check it out they can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs so guys for the auxiliary heater also known as, as auxiliary heating which fuses we need to check we need to demonstrate on this BMW 5 series here now guys you have many hidden fuse boxes in that BMW 5 uh, series generation we recommend to check out the video on our YouTube channel about fuse box location on BMW F10 F11 what you guys need to do now first we need to go ahead and open uh, the passenger door then you need to open your glove box on the very back on the right side you have a cover remove that cover and you're going to find a fuse box with a layout like this one here before we continue guys let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays so let us tell you guys why it's super important to test fuses and relays. Fuses guys sometimes are really hard to know if they're burnt or not. For instance I'm going to pull one fuse here okay and sometimes you cannot clearly see if they're good they're bad and let's say you think you have a good fuse you put it back in and you end up having problems again and you spend time money you buy parts diagnostics you pay for services that you don't need guys you practically wasted your money so all you have to do waste uh, ch ch check your fuses that way you don't waste money guys so always test your fuses even if you think it's good always test it it even happened to us guys okay and we work on cars all the time another thing always test your relays they're a little bit harder to uh, test but if you want to see guys how to test fuse relays we will put a link in the description of the video below but we've seen so many customers that think that they have a good fuse they put it back in they waste their money on parts and diagnostic that they practically guys do not need so check out the link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse and how to test the relay as well so guys if you want to buy fuses relays parts tools at a really good price quick shipping as well guys we're going to put a link in the description of the video below guys uh, make sure you get some for peace of mind and you can put some spare ones in the glove box for the auxiliary heater we need to check one fuse here then we need to go to a different fuse box and check for more please make sure you stay until the end we want to share one good advice with you that way you do not end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us we will come in that lower section here you see that row of fuses under the relay so here guys okay uh, they start like that fuse 62 63 64 65 fuse 65 will be the one that you will guys need to check then open the trunk once you open the trunk on the right side you have a cover remove that cover guys and you will find another fuse box here we have more fuses that we need to check and the first one is fuse number 132 in that row of fuses here that will be that first fuse that you will need to check after that you need to check fuse number 142 so it will be that first fuse that you see right here guys and after that you need to check fuse number 100 and uh, uh, well actually you have 202 so they go that way 
2432, that's 202 right here. And then you need to check fuse number 195. So if you come in that fuse box here, that's 190, 192. 93, 94, 95 will be that fuse that you see guys, that 30 amp fuse here will need to be checked as well. So you guys have all kinds of different fuses, relays, okay, in that car. So what we recommend guys, okay, buy some spare fuses, relays, put them in a the glove box for a peace of mind. One time we needed a replacement, we couldn't get one, okay, and we were stuck in the middle of nowhere. So always keep some spare fuses and relays in your glove box, guys. That way you don't end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us. Hopefully the video was helpful, guys. Thank you for watching and see you next time.